Good morning, YouTube. Reseller Mom here. Welcome to today's video. Today is Sunday, the, I think it's the 8th of September. Anyhow, I am out. I was able to drive about 45 minutes and I've got the whole day to go shopping. My first plan was to do Kohl's and then I went and looked for coupon codes and stuff and there's like no coupon codes whatsoever for Kohl's. They're starting, they have some big sale going on and then they're gonna start the coupons in a couple of days. Anyhow, so I went to a different area of town and my first stop is going to be Ross, but there's a, what is it, Bed Bath & Beyond right next door and they have a huge clearance sign. So I'm going to pop into Bed Bath & Beyond, see if there's anything worth looking at. Nine times out of 10, Bed Bath & Beyond does not have anything good on their clearance, but it will take me, you know, a minute and a half to go in there and double check, and then I will move on to Ross. And then I'm gonna work my way down this little strip mall. There is a Tuesday morning and some other stores. I can't remember, oh, T I think there's a TJ Maxx here too. I will have to look at the map but we're gonna start in at Ross and Bed Bath & Beyond here. So let's get shopping. All right, I'm in Bed Bath & Beyond. We're gonna do a little bit of looky, looking here on the 75% off rack. There was some other stuff um, in like the beauty section, but it wasn't 75% off the lowest ticket. Overall, as I expected, not super impressed with their clearance area. Let's see here, this is 20 bucks minus 75, so it's about $5. Eight minus five is three. Not going to do that. I'm probably restricted. No, nope, I'm not. Okay. Let's see here, next item we're gonna do is a salt plate holder. Oh, why did it, what did you scan? There was no, oh, it must've scanned up there. <laughs> okay, we're gonna scan that. What's the demand for salt plate holders? I didn't even know you needed one. Let's see here, okay, it's not the worst rank in the world, but it's still not very good. And it's gonna be about 250, three, four, about four bucks maybe. Huh, that's actually not, not the worst. I'm gonna, I think, still pass on it. Um, hmm, just grilling, coated steel plate holder. 289,000 in Lawn Garden. What do you guys think? Would you go for that? Would you not go for that? It's 75% off, $12.99. So, probably about $354. Oh, hold on. They have a 90% off clearance and they have 75% off and they've got little cheat sheets. So what is $12.99? Okay, hold on, I gotta look at the right sign. That would be helpful. $12.99 would be $3.25. So $3.25 plus tax. You know what? I'm gonna get one just because I'm curious if it's actually gonna sell. That's what I'm gonna do, do a little experiment. I don't know what the demand is for salt rock, salt plate holders but we will get one and try it out for $3.25. Sometimes you gotta, you know, do your own market testing. See, what does that get you? Now I gotta remember that it is 289 in Lawn and Garden, so I can do this, take a little picture of it, flag it for later, and see how well it sells. That is it for scanning here. They've got a candle. Protect your bag. Oh, hold on, this might be worth something. Let's see here, a mini clear bag to protect your purse. I didn't know my purse needed a rain bag. I guess if you have something that's worth protecting, it didn't even come up. All right, moving on. Let me see, uh, let's, what I'm not going to scan, I'm not gonna scan lights because there's a whole bunch of regulation on lights nowadays. Same with light bulbs. What is this? Travel wallet. Eh. We can scan the travel wallet, but it doesn't look that great. It's Samsonite though. Okay, so Samsonite might be good. Oh, huh, not bad at all. Be five dollars. Is it seventy-five percent off? Nineteen ninety-nine. There's two of them. Yeah, I'll get this. Amazon is on there, but we're going into Q4, and people do do a lot of traveling during Q4 time for family and holidays. So 75% off, that's $5 a two. I'm gonna go add $5, two, we're on the eighth. Let's see here, bed, bath and beyond, tax rate 10. 
should be good to go there. All right. Oh, now we got the next. We got another little station here. Let's see if there's anything good here. What is this? What happened? Somebody took a, like a bite out of that candle. I don't, I don't even know how that would happen. Oh, Rydell. I love Rydell. My favorite wine glass company. $35 minus 75%. And they've got a little cheat sheet. It'd be about $9. Hey. Yeah, okay, this is worth worth looking at. Let's see if it's got everything in the box. Sometimes, um, you know, the box will be messed up. Doing a little looky-loo. Everything is brand new, perfect. All right, we'll grab that too. $9, add. $9, quantity. I gotta go in and fix my tax rate. <laughs> and that, there's only one of them. Okay, let's see what else, what else we got? Chrome finish, and it's kind of messed up, kind of messed up. Juicer jar set, yeah, we can try that one. Ooh. Text from the husband. We had an argument today. My daughter is making slime. She has like a slime lab up in her room and she's using my good Tupperware. Anyhow, she told my husband that I told her it was okay to use that and I did not say that at all. Anyhow, 75% uh, off. This isn't too bad either. In Home and Garden, 3.2. It's a little high in the rank. Look at all those like news. When I see like news, a bunch of those, that means usually it's restricted. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna try and get unrestricted for the heck of it, and I'll be back because I can't do that on camera. I was able to get auto ungated for it, so very excited about that. Now we're back to scanning. What is this? Yankee candle, lavender vanilla, but what is it? Sometimes I just gotta scan things to see what they are. It smells good. Hmm. It almost looks like one of them wax melts. Let's see what else do we got here? Basket hauler. That looks pretty cute. Take your strawberries and do them. That'd be a cute gift for something. Um, hmm. There's no 75% off on it, and it looks like everything that's 75% off has a sticker. That's only marked down to $4.99. I'm not paying $5 for a basket thing. Okay, so these are wax melts, beech wood, 75% off. Smelling them for my own, my own uh, needs. No, I don't know. Ugh, still for a quarter. It's not bad, but I don't really care for the care for it. Junk, junk, junk. Coaster. Who wants to pay five dollars for a coaster? I still wouldn't pay a dollar for the coaster. Looks like a pretty strong one, though. What do we got here? W. Crazy Cozies. Try that. 75% off. $6.99. Nothing. Okay, let's see here. Is there anything else going on? Gatherings. We got a little candle. That's ah, too glass, too big for me. The other ones are really well packaged. I did look at the packaging, kind of open them up and see if there was, if they were good. Today has been canceled. Go back to bed. Those are fun. What else do we got? Plates. I'm not going to do plates. I don't think... Umbra is a pretty good brand. I like Umbra stuff, but probably nothing going on there. Same with napkin rings. And... Oh, look at this flashing bottle. Drink me. Thing, see if that's any good. And then there's people, so I gotta stop recording now. And I'll check back in a minute. No good there. All right, I found something interesting. There are sheet sets here that are benzoyl peroxide resistance, and it says it resists fading and discoloration from acne medicine. So that's interesting, and one of the reasons why I bring it up is with all the pesticide and hazmat stuff, you know, people often say, well, how could you have hazmat in, you know, categories like home or clothes or something? And this is how. I don't know how it is resistant, but it's got, you know, chemical type of wording on there. So sometimes 
Amazon will see that and, and certain words will flag the listing and then it will become some sort of hazard or pesticide type of listing. So anyhow, you gotta watch out for that. Odor, odor deterrent type of clothing. You know, they have underwear now that is odor deterrent and socks and boots and shoes and stuff. And now they have, they have sheets that will not fade with your acne medicine. I didn't even know that was a thing. I had no idea that that was a problem in people's lives. Found another little cubby that I wanted to talk about, and we've got mosquito repellents, which is a end of the season type of item for summer. A lot of these things are going to be gated on and whatnot, but the ones that I did scan was this Dynatrap. It didn't come up anything, and I went ahead and s scanned this one. It does, but the margins is three dollars, so it's not really worth anything. I'm not really doing the candles, that's too glass for me. I don't think the margins are going to be enough for me to wrap it and box it and etc. Same with patio egg, um, you know, you'd have to make sure you seal it. It's not impossible, if you really want to, you could sit here and scan it. Same with the citronella bands, I don't know, I just kind of stay away from most of this stuff in a general sense, but I did find fly traps last night, no, Friday night at Bartels, so, you know not impossible and then as I'm looking around at stuff you know if you needed home decor this would be good and then I found this I thought y'all would like it we've got a little hustle and a little goals I thought those were pretty cute going to look at tablecloths for a hot second here tablecloths and napkins none of the brands are really sticking out to me but maybe I'm missing something oh okay so these are 519 make three dollars off of them and it's not terrible Let's see if i'm restricted nope i don't know by the time you factor in tax it's not quite quite enough for me Let's see about these autumn vine hey that's showing up too Ooh, million rank we're gonna stay away from that let's see this one's pretty cute i like this one with the pumpkins if I needed a tablecloth, that wouldn't be bad, but $11.99, let's see here. Rank unavailable, hold on, let's click on that. Still says net negative 142, something's not calculating right. Um, with the rank unavailable, I always stay away from those. So, up to you. You can investigate and see if it's just a brand new listing or, you know, maybe there's a reason why it's got no, no rank available. For me, I usually just move on. I'm gonna load. Ooh, hey. Well, that's not too bad. What are these ones? Uh, $8. Hmm. 2.112 pounds. 600,000 in home and garden. Boy, I don't know if that's a good rank or not. I think we're gonna pass on that one. But I could, we could do this. We could research, go to Keepa, which you can add back into Inventory Lab. There's, they have a pretty good instructions on how to do that. And we're going to take three years to move here. I'm going to grab the last tablecloth and just kind of move my cart out of the way. Some in the aisle way here. Holy smokes, my eyes can't read that. You guys probably can't read that either. We need to zoom in here. Okay, new third party, it's going for that. More triangles, Got another one for 25. Let's blow that out. I don't know, I think I'm gonna still pass on that. Let's go back over to that. Let's we'll scan this last tablecloth, which is vinyl. I don't find a whole lot of vinyl doing good though. 23, oh, see now, 57,000 rank, that I like. It says priced as marked on the sign, and this is 7.99. So I'm gonna go back over there and see, even at 7.99, that's not bad. Yeah, we're gonna go look at this one a little bit more. All right, I found four of those tablecloths. There's nothing marked discount-wise on them. And then the other ones that are like it, but the round, the other ones were a rectangle. These ones are round, are $1.99. 
and look at this buck 99 now the price is already kind of tanked from 22.99 down to 14 but if we type in this and, and you could type in 290 or 199 or two bucks you know it depends on how accurate you want your numbers i choose to just type in two still get 244 percent return so i've got one two three four five of these so five times six is like 30 bucks double check no restrictions three bucks what did i just say five yeah five of them perfect we'll list them for 14 dollars. those will be great and probably gone before christmas hopefully <laughs> it is kind of a seasonal thing you want to get those shipped in fast then there's one last one down here for $1.99. That's a bigger rectangle. The other ones were uh, like 60 by 84s. Let's see here. Let's see here. Ooh, this one's nice too. $18 net minus my $2 buy. Yeah, I'll take that all day long. $16 profit. Too bad there's only one of them. There we go. Okay, we are three quarters of the store done moving along i am done with bed bath and beyond and uh, getting ready to go into ross here so total i spent 75 or 55 dollars while i was in line i found some glass cleaner they had it on a display it's the one i use uh 325 and then i remembered i could pull up a 20 percent off and get 20 percent off so i went ahead and did that pulled it up through retail me not since i didn't have my coupon on me and then I was checking out. So the lady was very nice and very informative, a little slow in the checking out, and she kept forgetting to give me the 75% off on all the items but the tablecloth. So the tablecloths all rang up as two bucks. Wonderful. That means I'm gonna make even more money on that first one that I thought I was gonna pay $79.99 on. Okay, so she tells me though that they're not going to be accepting the Retail Me Not coupons anymore. She said that the Retail Me Not steals the coupons and posts them on the internet. Bed Bath & Beyond doesn't like that. They're going paperless and they're going to start associating your phone number and email with your orders and that will help the customer when you forget your coupon or if you have returns, it's going to be associated to your account. That's fine. Love it. Go ahead and do that. But at the end of the month, no more coupons, no more paper, no more retail me not coupons, etc. So that's a good little little tidbit to know there. And that is one of the reasons why I have a junk email and a junk phone number so that I can give companies my email and phone number and sign up for all this good stuff, but also not get spammed all the time. Um, that's just how I run it. I've always had a house phone number that I've used for these types of scenarios, and I feel that it keeps down on the robocalls and whatnot for my cell phone. Robocalls have been horrible lately, too, with other people. My phone number still seems to be pretty good. Uh, I like to keep my privacy like that. <laughs> Anyhow, I also want to touch on just some things going on with my schedule. I now have a high schooler and a middle schooler, and the middle school part is going to be online in my office. With that being said, that means my shopping schedule's changed. So that's why I'm out all day on Sunday, even though I have an office full of stuff that needs to be listed because I did an online order with Steinmarts. Um, shout out and thank you to Yvonne at Thrifty Rich. She posted that Steinmart.com um, was having a huge clearance sale, and I wound up buying two or three thousand dollars worth of online stuff having it delivered to the house which is great because with this online school I am now kind of tethered to my office Monday through Friday 8 to 3 which is not not bad and we know what we're signing up for but uh just letting you guys know that that changes my schedule and I will be shopping more in the evenings online and on Sunday etc so let's go into Ross and hopefully I can find some good stuff in Ross I don't know how much filming I'll be I like filming with the you know, showing you the scans and what I'm scanning, what I'm not scanning, but it does seem to be getting pretty busy in the parking lot here. So I might just have to show you what I, what I do find. We'll see how it works. In Moss, and I'm going to start looking at all the shoes and slippers over here. There's not a whole lot going on, but you know, I've got a shoe order going and it seems like all my shoes go to one place. So I kind of want to make the order worth, worth the shipment. I don't like shipping out two pairs of shoes or whatever. I think I have now six between all the stores. What are these, $10? Ooh, almost two million rank. I think we'll pass on that. Dockers. Dockers is owned by 
Levi, I think it is. And I am not approved. There we go. Speedo I can do, though. Surf knit. $12.99. Uh, not bad. I like the rank. Ooh. Make seven bucks. I don't think that's even worth it. I do pay tax at Ross as well, so I gotta factor that in. And it's the end of the season. Yeah, we're gonna stay away from that one. What are these guys? Who's Sperry? I've never heard of Sperry's. They look kind of cheap. And we got Tommy's, but they do not have a tag on them. Reef. I like reefs. I don't know if I like to sell reefs. Let's see if they come up. $20. Oh, and you can open the beer bottle with it. Oh, good margins, but rank is a little high. Deer foams. I like deer foams. $7.99. Memory foam, too. What do I got here? Hmm, two bucks I'd make. Nope. Pass on that. Nautica. Nope. No tag. No tag. A lot of these look like kind of maybe returns from summer. Dockers. Woodstock. I don't know. There's a lot of shoe brands that I don't know. And I've been trying at every store to kind of um, add in a few brands that I'm not used to to see if anything is worth selling. Just because I know there's there are other brands out there besides the, the norm to sell. Now what is that? Okay, so it's 2,000 rank and just slides. $21. Oh, they're 18. Never mind. Crocs. Oh, I like Crocs that are different colors. Let's see if they're any good. And we got more Crocs here. How much are these ones? I can't see the tag. Here. $14.99. No. Okay, we got Calvin Klein's, but I don't see a tag scan Tommy's oh, tag is back there $16.99 it's a little high what is that body glove I don't know body glove did shoes like that maybe I did I don't know okay more Crocs as you can see I am finding nothing and that's a lot of how scanning goes there's a lot of scanning a lot of nothing these are $15, they're $13 there. Let's check out these Speedos. $12.99. And that's about it on the shoes I'm gonna scan. Ooh, okay. That's better, $12.99. You can type in $12.99 or $13, whatever's quicker. 50% return. Okay, that's not awful, but not enough. Okay, the rest of the shoes here are not in a box and not something that would be appropriate to put into a bag. You know, a lot of these, like these Nautica slippers, you know they're not going to come in a box. They're gonna, you can bag those. But, uh, you know, those sneakers down there, no, you cannot just send them in without the appropriate box. There are some that say that you can use a shoe box that's blank, but I, I don't do that. So I'm not, I'm not going to talk anymore about that because I don't do it. I don't want to recommend it or anything like that. Now I'm going to move on to pants and there's more people. So I'll be back. I ended up spending $78 not finding a whole lot. I was striking out a lot. And there was a ton of screaming children, messed up shelves, disheveled items. So it was kind of a not the best store. So anyhow, we're going to move on. I'm going to have lunch and go to Tuesday morning, I think, is the next one on my stop. We'll see here. But I did want to show you some of the stuff I got. So we got sport socks. Sport socks are kind of my favorite. Adidas. Um, I don't think you have to be ungated for Adidas, but I could be wrong. Anyhow, if you're starting off with clothes, socks are really good. I did scan a lot of stance. Uh, somebody says they have good luck with the ODD or OOD? ODD? Uh, they're like character type socks. I have never found one that's good. I did find one pair of Lee um, pants in the boys section. These ones do well for me as well. Uh, I did scan probably 10 pairs though and only got one that, that was good. I found two sports bras. They are both, I think, Under Armour. Yeah, both Under Armour. 
and they are really good. $10.99, they're going for about $40, $45. What I wanted to talk about though is deodorant marks from people trying them on. So I will lint roll these and then that's where I use the little baby wipes and the baby wipes take that off right, right away. Now there's, there's probably 16 suggestions out there on how to take deodorant out, but don't let that deter you. But I will get this cleaned up before I take the price tags off so that I know. The other thing I want to say real quick is I know that when you're typing things in, I said it doesn't matter whether you put $10.99 or $11 and that's for like pricing. A penny isn't going to make or break usually a purchase for me with all other factors going into it. However, if I am at a store that is like Ross and they do have clearance tags and sometimes their clearance prices are six even or 10 even versus the 99 ending, then I will make sure that I punch them in correctly. So if I do have to go back and produce a receipt or find things, I know that it was 10.99 and not actually $11 even. Cause I do find a lot of clearance items with the ending. Other people have suggested, you know, other ways to kind of use this ending to designate like if you had a specific coupon or you used a specific card or some other um way like on ebay i know people will enter in a buy cost and have that number mean something same with if you use specific SKUs for amazon um you know maybe designating if it ends in nine three you used x card or had a 20 percent off coupon or something like that anyhow i just wanted to touch on that and then I got one baby blanket in the back it's a baby starters I'll make like 10 bucks off that guy another pair of socks and what is this oh this is just an Under Armour pair of shorts that was good so not a whole lot but really good deals and then my son needed a laundry basket so he's getting a new laundry basket all right time for some lunch and heading to another store you know sometimes you go into a store and you scan 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 and it's like not coming up anything and it's very discouraging and that's kind of what happened with Ross. I was scanning a whole lot, not coming up with a whole lot. And I honestly think that maybe a, another reseller had been there recently. Maybe somebody came in yesterday and did some sourcing. So it happens. You just got to kind of move on and, and cut your losses, move on to another store. And that's what we're going to do. I am now in Tuesday morning. And next to Tuesday morning is a Joann's. And I went into Joann's to try and find an easel for a painting project this weekend. Uh, we're doing one of them paint nights at somebody's house. Anyhow, wound up buying $100, no, $78 worth of candy, Halloween candy. So super excited about that. It is time to start thinking, thinking about candies and getting things in for the Halloween season. Anyhow, I bought fall and Halloween candy. So you cannot send it in till what september 30th october 1st and then i'm over here just scanning hot mitts that's hit or miss i haven't actually found any hot mitts recently gosh i hate it when they cover up the barcode it's not worth it i'm kind of in a time crunch now i'm not gonna peel back any labels i can't get a hit let's see here what is the blue doing but cuisinart kitchenaid are some of my go-to's I wonder if uh, any of these drying mats would come up. Let's see, what are they? Four dollars? That's not bad. Not a bad price. Nope. Getting a whole lot of nothing, unfortunately. But hot mitts are a great Q4 type item. A lot of people will get somebody a new set, especially if they know they are in the kitchen a lot. They're a great housewarming gift. Boy, I am okay. So after scanning, I don't know, whatever, about eight of them here, I'm going to move on. I'm having zero luck with that. I guess you could try looking them up, but I've never, never really done that. Ah, I got the label on the back. Let's see here if there's any dishcloths worth looking at. I'm not seeing anything. Oh, it's going to hit that one. I don't want to hit that one. Let's see if I can peel this off. This is a Cuisinart uh, teal. Holy smokes, I'm going to ruin the label. I'm trying to do this for y'all. It's alright. Okay, there we go. Good lord, you can 
see my mingled tag there. These are six dollars and still doesn't come up. Yep, that was not worth the time. What do we got here? These are interesting. You get like a whole little gift set here. You get an apron and a towel. $14.99. Is there a Okay, so there's no barcode, and usually what that means is it's made for stores and... Oh, and I have low battery. So no good there. Let's see, I never look at any of the hangers. I don't ever scan any of this cleaning supplies. Um, yeah, I just never, never really spent any time doing that. I guess we can. Oof, rank is horrible, but it does show up. There's some pink gloves with cupcakes, those are cute. Yeah, we're gonna move on to a different subject, or <laughs> different subject, different, different section. Due to battery power, I'm gonna have to cut this off and do just a final, final take, cause I am at low battery. I am all done shopping for the day. It is five, uh, 4.45, been out for what, five or six hours? Went to four stores, that was Bed Bath & Beyond, Ross, and then Joann's and Tuesday morning. So it was nice, I only had to park at two different places and was able to hit four different stores. So at Tuesday morning, I checked out for about 250, 258, I wanna say, and got a, quite a good, good stuff. Let's see here, in addition to what you guys saw, I found some learning toys, and they, the brand name I believe was the Learning Company, and I was gated for it and was able to get ungated in the store. So that was a score, I really like that. I like learning games too. Um, Okay, so I found that. I found some Spode stuff. Didn't hit anything with any of the Linux stuff. There was some tablecloths and stuff. Scanned a whole bunch of other <clears throat> things, including like deer foam slippers. Didn't find anything there. Uh, their summer clearance with the flags and things like that. Didn't find anything there. And then I found a collector Barbie doll. And I'm a little on the fence on whether I should have done this. It was a $70 Barbie going for 120 on Amazon. I look to make about 50 bucks off of it. And uh, it's a really cool collector name brand type of Barbie. So I'm excited about that one. There was four on the shelf. So it's one of those where I'm gonna kick myself whether I, I bought too high and it's gonna price tank or I didn't buy all of them on the shelves. So it's exciting, but you gotta have those. You gotta sprinkle those into your life, right? I am trying to get more comfortable with higher dollar items and not be so scared from them. Um, but it is kind of a little risky putting $70, $70 down on a Barbie, you know? Anyhow, so that happened. And then what else? Found two birthday gifts that I needed to find personal wise. So that was good to check those off of my box. And yeah, I am done for the day. So all in all, a really good day. Spent, I don't know how much I spent, but four different stores. Found some Halloween candy, I'm excited about that. And yeah, if you like these videos, give me a thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, go ahead and leave them down below. And have a great day, everybody. Take care.